Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Chris, and this is Regular Guy Training. So I'm gonna, so I'm, I've been wearing these for some time now. Um, they're the Walkers Razor uh, set of electronic ear protection. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about them here and there when I've worn them on camera and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and and do a short review on these. Now I've had these uh, for a little over a year. And there are a few things to say about them. There's not a lot to say about EarPro, honestly. Uh, number one, they do protect your hearing pretty well. Uh, when I compare it to my Peltor Sport Tax, the seal on them is a little better. The hearing protection uh, quality itself is a little bit better in and of itself. And I got freaking butterflies and shit hanging out around my camera. But as far as the... Um, the hearing protection quality, it's actually pretty good. Um, every once in a while with my sport tax, if I got in like a really weird position, it would break the seal and, a little bit and I would get a little bit of ringing in my ears from shots that are fired and that kind of stuff. I haven't had that kind of issue with these. Um, they fit well, they adjust well, and as far as the battery life on them, they're actually pretty good. Now, they freaking, they take a pair of AAA batteries um, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that it takes AAA batteries because the vast majority of the stuff that uh, runs on my gear is uh, AA or 123, but it's not that big of a deal. AAA batteries are not super duper expensive, so it's, it's a non-issue to me personally. Um, but here's the thing. As far as the, the electronic hearing portion of this is concerned, um, the sound quality is pretty good. It's actually really good. Uh, but, but there's an issue that I have with them, right? Now, when I throw these on and when I turn them on, right, if you were talking to me like standing where the camera is and, you know, we, we were sitting here jaw jacking and that kind of thing, if I just close my eyes and you went to the same distance behind me, freaking, I would not be able to tell if you were in front of or behind me. Does that make sense? Uh, they seem rather omnidirectional in that in that anything that I pick up all sounds like it's coming from right in front of me, like a as if we're having a conversation up close. You see what I'm saying? And I'll pick up like trucks and whatnot on the road over there, and it sounds like it's happening right next to me. You see what I'm saying? So it's a personal preference thing for me individually if, I am, if I'm using ear protection and that kind of stuff. I like to at least be able to know which direction something's coming from. Now, I'm not going to be asking for too terribly much from these. These are not very expensive. They're meant to be not very expensive, so I'm not going to sit here and, and bitch about, you know, the mic quality and that kind of stuff. That being said, though, um, people that come out to my classes figure out really fast that bad weather tends to follow us around, and in bad weather, these work perfectly fine. Um, granted, a lot of the time, that these have been on my head, the batteries have been dead, and that's not because the batteries die really fast, it's because freaking, um, I'll just leave them in, like dead batteries in, and just use them as ear protection most of the time, most, mostly because if I'm not dealing with the mics, freaking, I can hear which direction, you know, things are coming from, like which direction sound is actually coming from. Now, some of you would say right away, well, if you prefer to just have them off, then what's the point in getting them? I agree. Uh, as far as, you know, electronic hearing protection is concerned, this is not my preferred, right? Is it serviceable? Yeah, for sure. It's absolutely serviceable. It'll do its job, that kind of thing. You'll be able to hear things with your protection on. That's not the issue to me, right? But uh, me individually, I'll probably go with something else. Um, it depends on what you're willing to spend. So, it's a little bit of viewpoint, you know, pro and con and that kind of stuff. They're, they are good quality. They handle themselves well in, in the rain and the snow. They handle themselves well as far as salt and that kind of stuff. And the, and the uh, knob for this is pretty audible. It's pretty tactile. Um, and I only have to put, you know, work with one knob. Additionally, a lot of you guys know that I listen to music and that kind of stuff. When I'm zeroing rifles and I'm just, you know, trying to jam out and have a good time and that kind of thing, there's an aux cable for them. So if you're in, so if you're into that kind of thing, the option is there for sure. Um, did I use it too terribly? No, do too terribly much? No, not really. I, I, I have a freaking 
speaker that I bring out uh, anyhow. So, and it's louder than an aux cable in here. So, um, you know, are you into that kind of thing? Really, that's on you. If you have, to, if you go to public ranges or that kind of deal, and um, you just want to listen to fairly low tone music, it doesn't get super loud. And I think the object was that, you know, to to keep it the volume in here from getting too terribly loud so that you can hear other people yelling at you, that kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, that, that's really, um, you know, it, it is what it is on these kind of things. Uh, my opinion on them is, eh, they work, right? Um, very least, they gotta, they gotta protect your hearing and they do very well. Would I pick up another set of these? Me personally, not really. So, you know. Uh, just kind of take the pros and cons that, that I have, you know, as, you know, with a grain of salt because I have my opinions on stuff, you have your opinions on stuff, that kind of deal. So, um, that's all I really got on them. So, if you want to come out and get training with us, you absolutely can. Website's up. Freaking, there's still classes available, that kind of thing. Um, when I get a schedule, because I'm on, I'm on, uh, the, the Army scheduling and that kind of thing, our fiscal year starts in October. I'll have, as soon as that pops up, I'll have all kinds of stuff that I'll be able to plan out. Uh, but as of right now, obviously, we can't plan classes out further than September. But um, there are a couple of slots open here and there for a, a lot of different classes that we have to come still because September is absolutely stacked with classes that we have to take, that kind of thing. For instance, Maine uh, still has a bunch of classes, uh, still has a bunch of slots opened up, that kind of deal, uh, for Pistol 1 and 2. Uh, so, you know, go ahead and peruse the website, link in the description below, and you'll be, you'll be able to see what there is to see. Um, Freaking, as far as Patreon goes, you guys know the drill by now. Most of the money goes towards our Train to Soldier program, uh, where we bring soldiers in, pay for everything, they get trained up with us for free. Um, you know, most of the money that you guys send goes toward that. The remainder of that stuff goes to, back to the channel so that we can, you know, buy things, ammo, freaking products, that kind of stuff, so that you guys can see what there is to see, uh, as far as our reviews. Uh, if you want to, you know, check up on us with social media and that kind of thing, uh, the, uh, the Facebook page is linked also in the description below. And that's all I got, guys. Remember, a regular guy's firearm is the last defense against tyranny. Be easy.